quick backup game of Sonic Battle. Alright, and we are just going to get right into this. I see some Alexo there. I see all sorts of good people here in chat. Uh, let me get that going. Alright. We're just going to go right into it. We're going to go in uh, three, two, one, go. All right. So this is a, this is a pretty cool fighter. Uh, this is a GBA fighter for the Game Boy, um, yeah, for Game Boy Advance made in the 2000s. And it's kind of a slept on game. Um, you wouldn't really expect there to be a lot of like great mechanics in it. But uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that I'll get to show. This is Sonic Story. So this is gonna show like one chapter of uh, this game. Full any percent takes like, uh, like the world record is three and a half hours. So that's, that's pretty long. Uh, this is much shorter for a marathon setting and I can explain kind of, uh, just kind of the mechanics and what makes the game pretty unique. Wait for good emerald ability, aren't you? We actually, we don't use any emerald abilities. Which is an interesting thing. The game's graphics, yeah, the game's art style is pretty good. I enjoy it. Uh, it feels like a comic book to me. So yes, right now we're just getting some story. There's a lot of story to go through. Uh, pretty much what happens is Dr. Robotnik finds this robot called Emerald. And um, he calls it junk and it goes into the on the beach. Sonic picks it up and makes a friend. And now he's hanging out with uh, <clears throat> Sonic 2 Shadow, I guess. Because everyone in Sonic Adventure 2 mistakes both of them. And pretty much Shadow's are just saying, give me the robot. And Sonic says, no. And then, well, we're going to battle. So here we go. We got the main mechanics going on right now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set special number two um, to shot and then the special number one to my uh, ring ability, this one. Um, that'll take care of the opponents pretty quickly. Um, there we go. It's random which one they'll block. They'll block one special move each round. This time I'm going to go for a ring because he's probably going to block this one if I were to do shot. And there we go. That was a really nice fight. Sweet. And there we go. These are just cards you get. These are abilities that Emerald can learn. Uh, cool thing about this game is that Emerald is a customizable fighter. So if I were playing New Game Plus, I could just go and customize him and make him with whatever moveset I wanted in the game, which is cool for a GBA game. Like that's... That's a lot to put on a GBA game. Also, having different variations of characters is also pretty cool. Um, I gotta go down to the beach here. Taking a nice journey to the beach. Hi, sugar. Oh yeah, exactly. You could definitely abuse it. Just getting some more story here. Um, yeah, this game plays kind of similar to Smash Bros. and um, Power Stone. It's got 3D environments on a GBA game, which is also cool. Uh, there we go. And so she opted to block the um, the shot. So I'm going to use the ring here this time. I'm going to hope to get a shot for the next one. There we go. Uh, okay. Yeah, everyone has completely unique movesets. And uh, if I were to charge that green bar on the top to the full, I would get an instant KO move. So just a lot of cool stuff. The thing that definitely most impresses me is the 3D environments going on in this game. Alright. Sweet. They're good for Power Stone to Gooby. Power Stone to Gooby is a good friendship story. That's a good love story right there. Power Stone and Gooby, a love story. Okay, so... We're gonna do the same strategy here for most of these fights. Um... Go 
we're gonna use this shot. Yeah, different characters will get different strategies. A lot of them will use their specials just like this. But does he come here? Will he be coming? Oh, there we go. Roots trolled me a little bit. And just waiting for this. After this fight, we'll get to see a lot of different stuff. We'll get to see more about that uh, special bar in the later fight with Gamma. Things like that. And Rouge leaves us. There we go. Now we're going to go back to Tails Lab. Or we're going to go to Tails Lab for the first time, I guess. We were at Tails' home. I mix them up. Also, the soundtrack in this game is pretty good. I like it a lot. Here we go. We got an Emerald clone. This is what uh, Robotnik was using, or Eggman, depending on which one you prefer, I guess. Was using instead of Emerald. And it's just a lot worse version of Emerald. Uh, what I'll be explained in the story is that Emerald's special because he uses the power of the Chaos Emeralds. And each story will play into that. And you'll see uh, Emerald's story, like his personality will uh, develop over time in the story. So you see more into that. Press one if you're feeling the sour please life right now. There we go, this is kind of nice that he's in this corner. Because then he won't go too far from me, and then I can get his. do another blast on the get up. Sweet. One, there it is! Okay. So this explains a mechanic I, I explained a little bit earlier on how Emerald learns moves. If Emerald sees a move enough in this game, in the match, um. He will go and learn it, and then you can use it later with him. And there we go. So, for this one, I'm going to be doing five heavy attacks. And then Emerald will learn heavy after that. Also, after a heavy, you can kind of fly over to a person like that, which is cool. You get a super jump. Sort of like uh, Tatsunoko versus Capcom, I guess. And there we go. He gets KO'd once. Where do you spawn? Where did you spawn? Where did I? There he is. I haven't spawned there before. Okay, well, there. <laughs> Alright. And so he learned the move I was doing. So another cool thing about this game that they implemented a lot of stuff like heavies, mediums, stuff like that in a GBA game. I'm always impressed with all the stuff they added here. And launcher moves. That's a thing. So... We do five launchers here. A gold lighten. It's just you squish people as gold lighten. It's great. <laughs> okay, then Tails is gonna ask us to do a uh, stock battle. We're gonna say no to that though and just quit out of it. And the game's just kind of saying, hey, remember to press R and you can customize Emerald. That's right. If you press the R button on the side of your controller, you can upgrade Emerald. Remember to press R again, because that's important to upgrade Emerald, and then we never do it, so. <laughs> it wants us to do it so bad, and it just doesn't. There we go. We're going to quit out of that. That's just an optional fight, so. Yeah, I mentioned R again. You can see it highlights the color a little bit. Alright, let's see. Uh... Alright. 
So for this one, I'm going up to 10 uh, points in this one. And points are just KOs. I want to kind of line up the computers in the same spot so I can both hit them with one move at the same time. Uh, Tails is not wanting to cooperate with that, though. Holy crap, those blocks. Was that like a Daigo parry there or something? That was like a Daigo... <laughs> <laughs> that felt like a Daigo parry. I'm I'm shaking my boots a little. That was oh, okay. Well now Emerald has a one hit KO move if he opts to do a special move. There we go, nice. Apparently Emerald can Daigo parry. So that's the thing I learned today. Yeah, I've never seen him block this much. That's this is really funny. Alright, let's just focus on Tails then, because Tails is being nice. Okay. Yep, he's blocking that. Oh. Fun thing about one of Tails' moves in this game is actually a reference to Choo Choo Rocket. He drops a mouse, and that can be a bomb, which is kind of fun. Uh, let's see, I'm just bringing up my notes here. Okay, I'm right here. Okay. Okay, yep, yeah, I see where I am. Here I come, sister <laughs> age. <laughs> Here I come, the lizard man. I'm here to spread the truth today that Michaels is in fact the lizard man. Oh wait, this is the wrong one. I always confuse these. Tails lab and Tails house. There we go. Alright, so here's our first emerald fight. Excuse me, Lizard Man Overlord, excuse me. Our Lizard Man Overlord, Michaels. How could I forget the Overlord part? So for this fight, I'm gonna... Uh, there we go. I'm gonna run a little bit forward and then do a special. It keeps the computers in stun lock enough. Uh, Emerald is, uh, really, really, really bad. Just look at his run speed already. If you can't... That's a good idea of his overall, like, abilities right there. Yep, so this is what we do for that one. Yeah, look how slow that, uh, that heavy was where the other Emerald, the Emerald clone. Just look at that. Look at that. Like, 80 frame heavy. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Just makes you Craig as a little, doesn't it? Spend a billion frames on one heavy. Okay, so next up we're gonna go to the planes here. And we're going to fight Gamma. Uh, Gamma will be kind of different from the other fights. Because we're going to have a team battle. This is kind of where it's like Smash, where you can get uh, four people and they can game, like, get on different teams and stuff, which is cool. What we're also going to do is try to block the recovery mode explosion, and that gets me some special. So then I, um, if I can hit him. There we go, I didn't quite get it. But yeah, then I can get a 1-hit KO, and that can save me, like, 20 seconds or so. There we go. It lingers a long time, so... It's better to go later for it. I was thinking going early. I didn't quite get it that time. That's okay. We're not gonna get the 1-hit KO on this one, but... We will for, um... Other ones, probably. Sweet. Yeah, there you go, exactly, Rune. Yeah, it's a really good way to get special after uh, Gamma. Completely random. It's snowing outside. It's Minnesota and it's April. What the crap. 
All right, so this is the same as the other fight and the same strategy of uh, not hitting Gamma. That's a good strategy. <laughs> there we go. You can see one of uh, Tails' moves kind of looks like Master Hand 2. Makes it feel even more similar to Smash Bros. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, that was really cool. So, uh, Emerald kind of did a combo to break him out of lag and I could do another uh, power shot quickly. That's cool. That's what it looked like happened. There we go. Holy crap, there's a lot of special going on. Okay, well, Tails did not do anything. Emerald did nothing with his special. So, uh... Oh, jeez. There we go. Didn't quite get it. If Tails, if you KO him with a special, I will love you. <laughs> nope. Exclamation mark donut. There you go. Donate to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Sanji explained that all pretty much in the uh, intermission before. There we go. We got that, and let's hope he doesn't block it. There we go, nice. And there's the one at KO. That was cool. There we go. Tails did an aerial to keep him out of uh, end lag. Or to keep him out of, um, what is it, the tech position from my blast. So that was cool. Two in Wyoming. How's it going, Kane? Is it really? That's ridiculous. Emerald being a pro. Yep. Emerald being the real MVP here. Now we get to fight uh, Knuckles, No Chuckles, Flexing My Muscles, Echidna. Right up here. Look at him not chuckling, flexing his knuckle and swing my swashbuckling muscle. Cause Knuckles. Look, I'm not a rapper. <laughs> That's for DJ. <laughs> okay. Uh, similar strategy here to the uh, the Emerald fights before. This fight's kind of a risky one. Um, Knuckles can decide to be a troll. So I'm just gonna do the safe stuff. I'm also gonna heal as much as possible, just to make sure my health is good. And try to get any special I can. There's gonna be a refight with him after. And, um... In the refight, I'll be able to hopefully get more special. We'll see if that happens, though. That's ridiculous, Kane. Yeah, it's it's snowing. It snowed yesterday. Uh, yeah, it's been snowing a bunch. I think this is the third day or something. Okay, so now this is our last fight. Uh, there's still a little bit for time. Uh, Time will be in about like, uh, like a few minutes or so. It's at the fade out at the end of the story. I'll let you know. Oh geez, that rock wrecked me. <laughs> he just got it out at the end. It was like future sight in Pokemon. 
used the move and just got it out later. We will rock your dope delivered by Emerald. <laughs> Famous songs delivered by Emerald. Order now. Ten ninety nine. The funny thing is, he just he doesn't say anything in this chapter, so it'd pretty much just be famous song instrumentals, <laughs> which I guess is fine. I'll take eight. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Oh, come on, Knuckles. No flexels. No flexels. Something my muscles, Echidna. Get over here. So now he does have uh, a 1 KO move if he uses a special. Oh! He didn't use it yet. That was just a regular move. I'm gonna spawn there. Where are we dropping? Fortnite joke. Haha, <laughs> that's, that's what I get for making a Fortnite joke. Couldn't have been more perfectly timed. <laughs> That's like that needs a clip. That's too funny. <laughs> there we go. There wasn't even any delay. It was just immediately after the, the Fortnite joke that I just got, got KO'd. That is one of the things that makes this fight against Knuckles scary, is that he does have a combo that can pretty much KO you in one hit, if he decides to do it. He hasn't been doing it, which is nice. He's been cooperating really well. In, until that last part, I guess. Thank the bus driver. God. Yeah, it's, it's weird that Knuckles wouldn't be great in this game, because he's known to be like a fighter. All right, so that was our last fight. Time is coming up. Uh, we just gotta get through some story stuff. Pretty much what happened there is Emerald, uh, Emerald's believed to be evil and that's why Knuckles decided to beat him up. There we go. We come back to uh, Knuckles sometimes later and he gives us a Chaos Emerald that Emerald uses for power. And then if you progress in more stories, you'll see Emerald, yeah, Emerald will get more powerful and whatnot. And he does this at the end of every story. And so he's saying stuff now. Before he didn't say anything, but now he can kind of say, kind of like baby talk, like one, two words together, just over and over. And time. There we go. And this is just explaining about Emerald, just like, he is the world's most powerful weapon. And uh, Eggman just decided to throw him away on the beach, cause, uh, good idea. You ever just leave the world's most powerful weapon on the beach? I can relate to that. There you go. 2242. That's a pretty good run for me. And here's some sour please at the end. But yeah, um... That's a pretty good snapshot of what Sonic Battle is like. If you decide to play this game, uh, there's a Sonic Speedrunning Discord you can join. It's a good one. If you're not in the Speedy Fist Discord, join that. There's a Sonic Fighting Games channel. Yeah, it's a really uh, good underrated, uh, good underrated run, underrated game. If you're looking for a nice new portable fighter, I recommend it. That's all I got to show. Uh, feel free to transition me over anytime. We can get set up for these other runs. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a good day.